I imagine you're this side, you're Epic 7 on the right. You see this? Yeah, I'm gonna head out, bro. It's just like, what the f? Two hours ago, I lost my mind because it's a light mage. And by light mage, I mean the newest character, Wandering Prince Sid. For some reason, they had to separate the patch notes and then two hours later, upload this one. Now, from the comment section, you guys told me that this guy basically has the same stats as the auxiliary lots. Like auxiliary lots can hold a book. Oh, you're gonna see him around, trust me. And we'll start with the preview. They've uploaded this. Let's enjoy this, right? The, the goddess, goddess of, of victory. victory. Grace the brave young adventurer with a smile. Okay. Energetic. Yes. You're just like I said. And this is the animation. We've seen it before. Really so good quality, right? The idea is really nice as well with the book so thing. What stats do you have? Do not ruin the game. 117 speed. So this is like in the realms of where Whale could actually take this and raise some Zeos even. They've done it before. To activate a cleave, maybe. Not sure. Maybe it's to activate a cleave. 117 speed is more than enough. Taking a look at imprint as well. Affecting the self imprint. Oh, he bought a debuff. That's a skill introduction. Oh boy, we have the skill to natural storyteller. After an ally uses an attack that targets all enemies, activates continuous strike. Can only be activated once every three turns. Continuous strike, what does that do? Attack the enemy, decreasing CR and increasing CR of the ally with the highest combat readiness except for the caster by 20. So never mind, I think he's not supposed to take the first turn then. He's supposed to take the second turn, maybe after a knock while uses an S3. Targets all enemies, he'll activate continuous strike, pushing back the target. It has full damage dealt increase for skill enhanced, right? So, what? let's just see what it does. Alright, here we go. So, the preview uses Zeo and Lydica. Lydica has the AoE, right? The moment Lydica does that, you have the Sid proccing this. It's only a single target. That that way, how do they decide which is the target then? It decreases combat readiness, but it doesn't say who it decreases though. It's not the highest CR, is it? From, from the showcase it is. He pushed back the one with the highest CR, yeah. Push it back, Lydica gets the turn like that, gets to cleave off, right? And it seems in the preview they are using a debuff oriented team. But here we go, we got S3. Plants a bomb! Oh! Looks like someone in the comment section is about a coom because he's correct. Plants a bomb on all enemies and decreases speed for two turns. At the end of the turn, detonates bombs. That is just insane, no? You plant the bomb on all enemies and explode right away. That is summertime Assyria, but all in one without needing a sober, none of that bullshit, and you still plant more bombs in the summertime cut. You have four turn cooldown though. Okay, good to know. So it's not that short, not that long. Okay, let's see. What else are they? You have the... Uh, okay, animation goes. Use your S... Look at this screen right here. Imagine you're this side. You're Epic 7 on the right. You see this? Yeah, I'm gonna head out, bro. It's just like... What the f- Let's watch it again, right? Is it an attacking skill? Yes, it should be, right? Does it touch them? Let's see. It doesn't touch them. It's not an attacking skill. Right? Aiden did not get hit. And then everything <laughs> explodes. Oh my god. Nah. I'll, I'll stop with the reaction first. Uh, let's just see what he does, like, fully. Spiral cut. This is the S1. Attacks the enemy with a machete. 65% chance to decrease defense. Solman gets it 100, and it's two turns. This is so good. When someone just randomly survives, you have a sit to death break. That could be a game changer, right? So it would seem he's definitely not a crit DPS for sure. Or he could crit as well. Anyway, why not in the preview? Sure. Wow, that is one of the coolest animations again. Lo and behold, the cleave meta gets even worse. We have combat demo. You know, let's go through this, okay? How do you use it, Epic Seven? How do you think he is okay? So he's using C Phantom Politis. They know this character's busted. So Phantom Politis goes get everyone to be pushed back. He didn't sober. Now this guy's probably maximum gold in rank. That I know. You don't sober? Are you kidding me? And he pairs Flan as well in this team. Plants a bomb. Gets a push up, and then he has a sit. They haven't even done sits passive yet with the AOE. So okay, right now they would. Right? Flan goes with us three burns them pushes them back bomb is planted as well right bang there we go the counter attack goes and then sit will activate this but who does he hit do we know is it the highest i think it's the highest cr guys i look at this look at this it is aiden he hits aiden right so it should target a highest cr character and then they push it back that does make sense it didn't write it in the text though which is weird or maybe i missed it but either way he pushes spes up with that skill as well yes now he has the s3 doesn't need to touch anyone plants a bomb and detonates all of them right so instantly boom 
So with that, the demo ends, right? Like, what else are there? This is just like... <laughs> It's just bullying at this point. We have the S1, yeah, when you want to, like, finish off the last person. This one's a defense scaler, so it's doing better. No revive, you fiend. Ugh. Here we have another demo. They are trying to test this with, uh, wait, let, let's watch it from the front as well. Okay, this game ends. Let's check out the next one. Lydica goes first. Yeah, with the, with the AoE. And then he targeted the one with the highest CR on the enemy end again with Sid, right? It's C Phantom, pushed C Phantom back. Lumi Lydica goes, right? We don't really care. She does no damage. Bang. Oh, actually good damage there. Romy Warrior Leo, another bomb planner, right? You plant a later bomb first and speed down as well. Now you finish it, up, finish it off with a Sid. This is literally Summertime and Syrah all in one. Imagine using Summertime with this. You get a double. My brain is blooming with ideas right now. Summertime is Syria. Plus this person. If Syria Soberns plants the bomb, AoE detonates the bomb. Sid is gonna take another turn, S3 plant another bomb, detonate it again. Shit! I'm like too good, bro. My ideas can't be stopped. And that is... That's Light Sid, ML4 Shark. What do I think about Sid, huh? Is this overhyped? I don't think I'm overhyping this. I think this will be so good for cleavers. Now let's take take down the hype a little bit and think of this objectively. Are there counters? I would say of course there are, but now there's even more issues for people that are trying to stop cleave. This is one thing you have to worry about. But I will say looking at this objectively, he does have one issue, very important one. He does not have ignore resistance on his sober, right? That means his S3 could just miss a bomb and all of that. But then again, he doesn't need to attack the enemy, so you are not at risk of being countered. Or you could just have an ally plant the bomb for you, and then you explode it with Sid. But then think about Summertime too, right? Summertime does not have ignore resistance, and she's a pretty good cleaver. So the best build for one ring pin Sid would be a, a really, really high effectiveness, solid amount of speed, and then high attack. That is what I think a lot of people will build him as. Have someone just push the whole team forward, or at least maybe a phantom politics to get them to be really slowed, outspeed with Sid, plant the bomb, boom. As long as you have like 200 effectiveness, I think you're set. He can hold book. If you're a cleaver, you want to get this character, I think he'll help you up a ton. I don't think you get to pick her, pick him every time. I can imagine like Selene perhaps countering this, like S3 is a non-attack skill, Fire Politics could counter this, high resistance character like Christy could counter this, but he also does well against most of the thing under the sun. Like you just plant a bomb without touching them, it can't counter, and then instantly, boom, stun. If you have high attack, they might just have half their health gone. We have a green sit to finish it off like double sit action you know what i'm saying that sounds ridiculous and i think cleavers will be eating well and that'll be all for today let me know what you think about sid i think he's very very good don't think he'll be extremely broken aside from the fact that the openers you pair with him would be the ones that are broken and then pair with him he's gonna get even better but regardless we might cover him when he releases i don't know yet tomorrow there's shell tier so do subscribe and then check out my showcases and all with us i like try fun stuff and that'll be all for now Take care. Double uploads today. God damn.